Today I'm going to tell you about one of the most common and notorious invasive species in the Lower Hudson Prism region. It's Japanese knotweed. You can see that I'm holding it here and there's a huge stand of it behind me as well. Um, it is really very aggressive and is contributing to the loss of biodiversity in and around streams and roadsides like this. Um, it's fierce competitor, extremely difficult to get rid of. But through early detection efforts and by learning some of its key ID features, we can make a dent on it and actually control its spread in areas in which we found it when in not high densities. And we actually can do something about it. So let's zoom in and take a, take a closer look at some of the key ID features to help with some of the reporting and control its spread in our region. One of the key identifying characteristics of knotweed are its oddly shaped leaves. You can see it here. It's almost like a, um, like a shield shape or uh, the shape of a shovel, as people say. You can see that it's almost flat towards the back or where the leaf stalk is or the petiole is. And it's kind of got a pointed end, uh, almost like you're, like the end of a shovel or, so, or something. You can also see next to it, it's got this like reddish, purplish um, and green um, almost like bamboo-like uh, stem to it. And this is a really distinguishing characteristic of it. If I, if I look at the bigger stand over here, you can see it's, it's the way that it tends to grow in its growth pattern, um, especially as it, as it tends to sprawl. You almost see like a, a zig -like, zigzag-like pattern to it. You can see it in this one here, where it almost goes like up and then to the right, then to the left. So that zigzag-like appearance is another key characteristic of it. So you're looking for almost those bamboo-like stems, the reddish purplish stems as well, and they're almost like shovel-shaped or shield shaped leaves on it. This is, uh, a, these are all the distinguishing characteristics of it. It grows in these dense stands and just do, just really very difficult to eliminate. Um, it reproduces through rhizomes and you can't see it under the ground here, but that's its primary means of reproduction and now competing. Just these dense stands that it forms, um, native plants have a lot of trouble keeping up with it um, and it spreads so easily. So you gotta be very careful when removing it.